Hi everyone, John here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Cargo Carrier on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. Now, this is going to be a great choice if you want to take some of the stuff out of your vehicle, maybe some of the stuff off the top of your roof, and put it behind you so you leave more room for other things, whether it's on your roof rack or in the back of your vehicle. So with my roof rack system, I'm planning on putting a single bike rack up there just so I can have a bike if I want to go on a ride. But unfortunately, that kind of leaves some of my stuff that I was planning on putting up there without a home. So luckily, I want to take some refreshments with me and my friends so I can just put this in the back, not have to worry about it, strap it down and head out. Now, as you can see, this can nicely fit our uh, cargo relatively well, though if it's longer cargo, it is going to take a little bit more room. So I recommend putting it this way. But let's get some measurements and see how much room you actually have to work with on the inside. Looks like we're working with about 17 and 3 fourths, so that's still relatively good, but it could be better. But luckily for how long it is, we have a little bit more to work with. It is going to be 46 inches, so that's going to be nice, so you'll still be able to fit your cooler in there if you want to fit that and then a couple other things. Another thing to keep in mind whenever you're placing your cargo, if you have anything like a cooler that has something that could melt or anything that may be a little bit thinner, you want to make sure that you don't put it on the side with your exhaust. The Forerunner's exhaust is going to be on this side, so you're just going to want to keep that in mind. Uh, move anything that may melt over onto the other side, but overall you've got a pretty good setup here. Along with that, let's get how deep it is going to be about, I would say five and a half inches. So that's still a good amount of area. It's going to keep your stuff where it needs to be. And then all you're going to have to do is wrap your straps around this. As you see, there are a lot of areas where you can wrap your straps around, either the bottom or on the side. One more thing that I want to give you when it comes to measurements is the breakover point. This is going to be important because with your forerunner, obviously you're probably going to have stuff in the back as well. So, we're going to take how much room do you actually have to work with. You have it there. Going to have about 15 and a half to 16 inches, depending on what you're working with. So that's something to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to get it up that high, which is a little bit disappointed. But if you need to, you can just throw stuff in the back or grab stuff out from here. Now, a thing about this specific cargo carrier is it's on the smaller side. Some people may think that that means that it isn't going to be able to hold that much. I mean, it only comes out about 26 inches from the back of your vehicle, but it's going to be able to hold 500 pounds. It's made out of steel, so it's going to be able to hold up to basically anything that you throw back there, whether it's your heavier cargo, like let's say you have a generator, let's say that you have uh, a large suitcase. You're going to not have to worry about it being too heavy for this. Just make sure when it comes to your tongue weight that you're still falling underneath the right thing. But luckily the Forerunner has a pretty heavy tongue weight. Now as you can see, very sturdy as it's made out of steel. And we've had it down here for a while. There's only a couple scratches and scuffs from it moving up against other things as you can see right here. It's held up for a long time because of that powder coat finish. And even whenever it comes to what you could consider rusting, most of it you can just kind of move off with your fingers. It's not actually breaking through that powder coat finish. So that's something that's really good to see. Now let's take a look at the hitch system. As you can see, we have a adapter sleeve on here that's going to make it where you can fit it into a two inch hitch, but it's going to be a one and a quarter. So that's going to be really useful if you have multiple vehicles you want to put this on. Let's say you have a Prius with a uh, one and a fourth inch hitch. You can put that in there on the weekends and then you can put it back on here whenever you're taking the whole family out, which I think is going to be very useful. Uh, with all the different types of vehicles that you may have at your disposal. Another thing it has is an anti-rattle bolt. Now, as you can see, as I grab it here, I'm about to shake it. It is not going to be moving that much. It's actually moving along with the Forerunner, which is really nice. You're not going to have to worry about it feeling unsafe with your cargo. It's going to be shaking along with your vehicle. So another thing whenever it comes to safety is the back is going to have a reflector right here. Now as you can see it's starting to kind of come off. It's not really much more than a sticker, but luckily since it is a sticker all you have to do is buy another set here at e-trailer. It is going to be certified and you'll be able to put it back on there. 
Now my final thoughts on the Kurt cargo carrier is if you're wanting something that's going to be quick and easy to throw on, that's going to be able to hold basically whatever you need weight wise, maybe you don't need that much room. This is going to be a great choice. It pairs very well with the Kurt roof rack in case you want to put your uh, bikes up there or maybe even more cargo. I will say though, it is a little bit on the smaller side. It's more compact, which means you won't be able to fit as long of things. I recommend maybe checking out the aluminum cargo carrier from e-trailer. That's going to be another good one that's light. It's going to be able to hold a lot, but it's going to give you just a little bit more length. And that was a look at our Kurt cargo carrier on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. My name's John. Thanks for watching.